Hey, what's up Team KBA? One Tech Traveler here. Today we are going to talk about this. It is the F-Stop Deota Plus Ion face mask. Something I've been using for pretty much the past month as an everyday mask. This is a non-medical mask, but is very well suited to your everyday lifestyle just to provide some additional shielding. And after using it heavily among my day-to-day -day routines, I can really say that the F-Stop Deota mask is a great affordable reusable mask that's lightweight comfortable and has some good antibacterial properties to make it long lasting like always you can find my full written review of the f-stop deota mask so check it out at onetechtraveler.com and like always make sure you join the team kba community by subscribing to my channel Okay, so the mask that I'm wearing right now is the F-Stop Deota Plus Iron Face Mask and uh, got quite a few things to say about it. This is kind of a great everyday mask when you are venturing out. So kind of out in the outdoors, there's not many people around and uh, you can uh, kind of get away with not wearing one. But if you find you're around a few people, this is a nice mask to wear. Okay, so let's go ahead and unwrap the F-Stop Deota AG Plus Iron face mask. It comes in several colors. This is one of the new colors, which is a actually a very nice shade of green. I also have the gray as well that you would see in the pictures, but this is what it looks like. Brand new, uh, unpacked from the wrappings. And then quickly diving into the booklet. This is actually very useful and you can see they highlight the reusable, comfortable, washable and breathable features of the Deota AG Plus Iron washable face mask. And inside here is going to give you that breakdown like we mentioned, the three layer protection. The outer shell is cottonary ammonium salt treated, making it water repellent and has a woven polyester material that keeps your mask dry and kills bacteria. It's also blue science certified, which means that the process of producing this is uh, made ethically. Middle layer is a dense non-woven polyester that adds extra protection against particles and liquid droplets. And then the inner shield, which is uh, the white material that is touching your face, is Dupont Silver Dure, which is treated knit and uses silver iron technology to kill the microbes. But that's kind of more of the technical parts to it. You can see there's no removable filters like other masks design. This is just like a permanent three layer system that does have a simpler design and makes it more comfortable and something that's easy to use on a day-to-day -day basis. The coating that I mentioned will last an average of 45 plus washes. And then in terms of dimensions, this is going to give you a good idea if it's going to fit you and what size you need. They do have a disclaimer, which means this is not medically compliant and shouldn't be benchmarked against like your KF94 or just those medical masks. This is more of your everyday shielding with some nice like, antibacterial properties. You can see it's a design that makes it easy to fold in half. First impressions actually, you'll notice it has kind of this like shiny silver stitching along the corners. It does add to the aesthetic and is a very nice touch. In terms of the ear loop system, it has this stretchy elastic loop that feeds uh, from this part here and it's pretty stretchy. Now in terms of customizing the fit, they come with this sort of like plastic loop. In terms of a front view, this is what it looks like. You can see you have some slight curvature towards the bottom and that is for the chin. Gives a bit more of a contoured fit, which is great. And then actually towards the top, this like shield part is raised slightly higher uh, than the nose piece. This part is much more flexible and it lifts from behind over your nose profile. Whether your nose is like wider or narrower, it's uh, gonna give you a good fit. And then towards the back, it is a nice pure white. And uh, again, this is made out of three different layers. You have the inner parts, then you have more of the uh, antibacterial middle layer, and then of course the front shielding layer. On the right side, this is where we are going to see the only kind of branding we get on the Deota Ion Plus face mask from F-Stop. 
you can see we have the logo f-stop itself and even their website link for me i personally don't like that it's more of a walking billboard and if they just removed the website link itself it would just really complement the design that they have built here which looks really nice the stitching around the borders look really nice they kind of have this like silver reflective sheen to it and the exterior itself also has that sort of shiny sheen to it and that just really adds to the premium build quality of these and especially at their affordable price points i think a lot of people are going to enjoy wearing this as an everyday mask these aren't your medical grade type but the added antimicrobial properties means that you are shielding yourself while also benefiting from killing those microbes, bacteria and sweat and moisture that builds up on the inner layer. Okay, so we have the f-stop theater mask here and this is what it looks like on This is a shade of gray and it matches nicely with my outfit that I have But the big question is whether this is a mask that you should go for in the current climate just to better protect yourself This one has a generous coverage that wraps around the whole of my face that you can see and towards the top, we have a thinner type of material that goes over your nose and uh, isn't too heavy or structured. So depending on your nose types, uh, it will be able to really cover around that area. And then towards the bottom, the coverage is sufficient enough. And then when it comes to the loops around your ears, it's kind of like a flat elastic loop which you can freely adjust for your comforts. And then towards the back, it is a plain white and uh, the material is very soft, it's really comfortable against the skin, so you're not gonna find it irritating or itchy even as moisture builds up. This does a great job at reducing the amount of face sweat that you produce versus others because it is more breathable. And that is not necessarily because it creates like gaps or outlets where air can come in. The materials themselves are just more like lighter and easier to breathe. So if you had difficulties wearing face mask, this one is going to be better suited for you. Surprisingly for the amount of layers, it actually keeps quite a slim profile. It doesn't feel heavy. It's pretty light actually. It's nicely cushioned more than say your disposable face masks. These are also very convenient if you live quite a busy lifestyle because uh, they are reusable and rewashable. So you don't even need to put it in the washing machine and it is advised against that in using any sort of chemical detergents. Uh, all you need to do is just hand wash it in your bathroom, use some mild soap and then just for a couple of minutes, make sure that you give it a nice rinse and rub against the soap. Let it air dry and then uh, it's as good as new. I've washed it a few times and uh, I've like smelt the surface and there wasn't any lingering like bad smell after using it for a while. You may notice with disposable face mask where they, where they have just one size for the ear loops that can create really large like air gaps on the sides. Uh, you kind of get that here too not as bad it's definitely better thanks to the ear loops and they are much better reduced so you find you don't get like big vents coming out however i find after long periods of time that these little blockers that secure the loop can start to dig into my ear after long periods normally if it gets uncomfortable then i sort of loosen it back a bit and that just reduces the tension but if they're able to add some like soft material and it's got quite high tension it's not going to be uncomfortable for the most part i haven't had any problems so you may need to readjust the ear loops from time to time you'll find a more simplistic straightforward design meaning there aren't any like slots or pockets where you can put refillable filters into the mask which can cost more but of course have the medical grade properties uh, but for your everyday there's nothing that is going to like stick out or like prod into your skin as you're walking the nose flap on this is very accommodating it doesn't come with a protective pouch and just keep it separated from everything else which is something that i would have liked kind of need to reduce their 
branding on the mask on the left side while i don't mind the f-stop logo and the prints here they have the website link www.fstopgear.com i prefer a minimal look and having the uh, website link kind of detracts from the aesthetics so i prefer them to just remove that because it does remove the nice design that they built here that looks great and even the minimal branding so just a few design elements that they could prove on but i really enjoyed the experience wearing the f-stop deota plus iron face mask it's nice to know that they are using materials that helps to make this cleaner for longer so if you are looking for an affordable great quality everyday face mask i think you'll be pretty happy with the f-stop deota plus iron face mask so that about wraps it up for the f-stop deota plus iron face mask i hope you enjoyed it and found it insightful like always you can find my full written review on my website at onetechtraveler.com and after hearing all about it if you think these are the right face masks for you you can buy it in the link down below for disclosure f-stop did send me this sample so that i can share my own personal thoughts and opinion without any influence so thanks a lot for joining me in this video world join me and the team kba community to see more awesome videos like this one you can click the button just down below i'll see you in the next video but until then keep being awesome peace